All right, everybody, um, I have another car test today for you. We're gonna test the EMFs in a Toyota Sienna minivan. So this is actually my vehicle. Yes, I drive a minivan, mostly because I work on the road for a lot of the year, for many months a year. I do historic preservation work out in the field in remote locations. And so I actually have a bed in the back of the minivan, which I'll show you in a minute. So I took the seats out of the back and I've got a bed in there so that I can travel easily when I'm on the road and when I'm doing assessments and that kind of thing. So this is a, just a straight up gas powered vehicle and we're gonna test it to see what the EMF levels are. So radio frequency fields we're getting. Let's turn the sound on. Um, so that sound tells me um, that's cell tower nearby. Something else in the background, um, but um, there is no radio frequency devices in the car. Uh, the car is off, so uh, you know, just to give you an idea of before we turn the car on to test that radio frequency level. Okay, so I just started the engine. We've got the car on. Radio frequency levels are about the same. So, um, I don't think there's any RF in this car. There shouldn't be. It's a 2005, so no Bluetooth, no radar, no backup cameras, no uh, OnStar, you know, none of that stuff. Real simple um, controls and radio, so uh, no radio frequencies to be concerned about. All right, so we are inside of the Sienna. I'm just getting some background levels, make sure we don't have anything right off the bat. I'm at 0 0.02 milligauss, so um, that's good. Uh, you know, th that's a tiny level, probably just, you know, I'm, I'm in a, a commercial area, so there's some power lines um, somewhere. Uh, so that's, you know, otherwise nothing in the car. And here are the electric fields. We've got none. So we'll see what happens when we turn the car on. All right, for the electric fields on the floor of the passenger side, you can see it elevates a little bit when I accelerate to around, you know, between six to 10 volts per meter. The electric fields in the passenger side seat are around three-ish when I accelerate. Let's see if they go up. Looks like it, they go up a bit. Oh boy, that's higher than I would expect, around 40 volts per meter as I'm accelerating. And if I slow back down, it goes back down when I come to a stop. Okay, we're near the dash and the radio system and I'm getting about seven volts per meter. On the driver's side floor, really hard to see. Uh, you might not be able to see that because of the darkness, but it's about 2.5 and now I'm gonna accelerate. So it goes up a little bit, but really not that much. Uh, actually, it stays pretty relative. All right, now, so for testing the electric fields in the back, um, I can't really do that in this car because I've got a bed back here. Uh, so I can't go back to the seats and test on the floor because uh, they're not in there. Um, and the electric fields on the bed itself, I've got some of my equipment back there as well, um, are gonna be low because they are off the floor. So, um, can't really give you a really great overview of the electric fields on the floor in the back, uh, but I, I will try to see if I can do that in some way in another video. All right, here's our magnetic fields in the passenger side, about 0.5. All right, the magnetic field near the radio and control panel, about 2.2, 2.5, near the steering wheel, 1.2, 1.8. So 
Okay, the magnetic field on the floor of the driver's side, getting about 2.7 or so. All right, now um, we are parked and um, I wanted to test the fields on the driver's seat. And of course I had to do that when we're parked, um, but the engine's running. So these are the magnetic fields, uh, 0.3 to 0.5. And I am gonna turn the heat, the seat heater on and see if that changes anything. Doesn't look like it. And then I'm gonna turn the electric field on here. Pretty low, not much on the electric field, and that's with the heat seater on. I'm surprised by that, but that's good because I actually have, I never used the seat heater because I was always concerned that it was gonna increase my field, but it doesn't seem to increase it enough for me to really worry about it. So it's a little bit of jumping around, so it might be a little bit, um, but not too much. And then let's see what we got going on in the back. So like I said, you know, I this is my home for many months out of the year when I'm traveling on the road. So I've got some equipment back here right now. Um, and here are the magnetic fields really low. That's awesome. And the electric fields, same thing, pretty low. So, you know, I know that it would be great if I could test on the floor you know in, in a real life situation but I just can't really do that while while we're driving in this situation but for my purposes this is great because I sleep back here and so I want to know what the fields are like where I'm sleeping um, for a good part of the year so this is great back here and so that is pretty much it for my testing of the Toyota Sienna minivan I love this car it's been just awesome for me and so um, you know that's it a gas powered vehicle some elevated fields not as high as I expected so that's great but you know as with all cars you got to test them even the same car the same make the same model the same year can test differently and of course you are your own best meter so even though these levels seem relatively low for a car doesn't mean that it's gonna work for you. You gotta get in the car, you gotta test drive the car, and you gotta see if it works for you. That's the most important thing. So that is it on my test of the Toyota Sienna. I hope you found that helpful. Leave any comments or questions below. I always answer them. If you found this helpful, please subscribe and like the video. That helps me to bring more videos to more people and spread awareness about this really important topic. Thanks everybody for watching and we will see you next time. Bye. Mm -hmm.